What's good everyone on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And for today, we're gonna be showing you guys how to do a cool little effect that you see on Instagram like this. How you see like there's a bunch of gradients and it has like a bunch of like grain and stuff. It's pretty cool. And um, if you guys haven't already, please go follow my brand at Impulse Tendencies. Um, shipping out, we're currently shipping out. I know it's been like a month, but it's a pre-order. Please understand that. And it's just me running the brand, you know. I don't have any like employees and stuff, but yeah. So this is the the image, you know. I got it kind of close to it. Like it's pretty, it's pretty close. Like in terms of like the style and stuff. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how exactly to do that. So I'm gonna open up a new file. Um, I'm gonna just go with my usual canvas. This way, usually design on and this is the picture i decided to use this picture because the girl is super pretty and <laughs> i know you guys are probably gonna be like bro what is this but yeah we're gonna use that so control a control c it and control v to paste and um we're gonna scale it up okay so now the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna duplicate the image just in case you need the original um, going forward. And now you're gonna want to go into and put on a gradient map. And in the gradient map, you can really just mess around to the color palette you want. So in this case, I think I'm gonna do a little, wait, hold up. Before you put that on, before you start messing with the, the effects, um, you're gonna wanna go in color. This is the blending mode I like to personally use to add gradients. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on with maybe let's go with um, this blue, and then we're gonna add, we're just gonna we're just messing around. You can you can add any color you want. And then we're gonna add a green, I think, or is that a red? don't like this I'm going to darken it up or maybe let's dilute that and let's move this down oh yeah there you go oh yeah we got it did this even do anything a slight hint of red now that's kind of hard okay so now that we have that gradient map we're gonna want to select both of these and we're gonna want to merge it and to merge it you're gonna press command e to merge and now this is now we have the gradient on there but we don't have the grain so to add the grain we're gonna go into the filter gallery and uh, let me zoom out right quick um, you're gonna want to add you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need you're gonna need a gr two grains and a film grain. And so basically, let's start off with the let's start off with the first grain that we're gonna need. We're going to want to um, use this grain, and it's gonna be on regular. And basically, the contrast what it does is it like mm, it makes the main image stand out. So like, see how that looks like more in the pic, more like yeah the higher it goes the more it stands out so i personally like this a little bit on the on the higher side because like i like how like you could tell between her and the background and the intensity basically makes the um is how much grain is added and you're gonna want to keep that one relatively high so we're gonna add that and you can see it starting to slowly come together it's getting that little texture on there and then for the second grain you're gonna add you're gonna want to make sure that it's enlarged, and basically, with the enlarged, it brings out these um, these bigger pixels. And you see how like it looks. You can see like the more like rainbow stuff. That's basically what it does. Like so, it adds like a more rougher texture and makes it look more of like 
a painting a little bit painting-esque and with that you're also going to want to have the intensity relatively high and the contrast should be around the same this is a very simple tutorial by the way um, and now the last thing you want to do this is just extra because like you can see like it's pretty much there already you're going to want to add a uh, film grain basically to it and what that does is it makes it even more more of a grainy and it brings the image more together and for the film grain um basically the highlight area it it changes the um hold on, let, me see, let me see if i can show you my computer's running hella slow because i'm running obs and photoshop two very high intense programs and i'm running it on my macbook it's not really designed for that so yeah the highlight it didn't really change anything actually but usually it helps change like the uh, the like mid tones and stuff and the intensity um you're gonna want to keep that down because if you raise the intensity on this it basically bright brighten up brightens up the image and adds more grain and it does not look good as you can see there so i turned that all the way down <laughs> For this image but usually you can mess around with with the stuff and for the grain you can you can also play around with it that's basically what design is you just play around with a bunch of like effects and colors you know i'm, I'm not the best at explaining stuff so bear with me okay that looks about good and you can see like it's almost there but you're, you're gonna want to add some spice and like your own vibe to it so what i like to do is i like to um i like to add like hold up let me show you like a little bit of like highlights in there so to do that i use the brush tool i make a new layer and i make sure it's on dissolve and it's on the soft round brush and basically you're just gonna want to um go a little bit larger you're just basically just gonna want to play around with it you know and then we're gonna take that green and you can really just play, mess around you know and you're gonna want to make a new layer basically and you're gonna want to do something like that and you can mess with the blending options as you can see like it changes how it like how it like affects the image and the one that I used was hard light, I think. Yeah, hard light. Oh, that kind of looks cool too. I'm gonna go with hard light. And you can see like it's almost it's almost done. You just you're just missing one thing because if you look in the thing, it looks very like blurry on this, but you can call it done like right now. But we're gonna add that blur to it. So we're gonna select all the layers we're gonna group them which is command g we're gonna duplicate it with command j we're gonna hide this one because just in case we want to like go back and edit it and you're gonna press command e and you're gonna basically want to um go into blur and you're gonna select gaussian blur i mean gaussian blur i don't know i called it that and you can mess around with how how much blur you want it like it could be like I don't know why you would want that, but we're just gonna settle it down. This seems about right, I think. And yeah, um, we're basically done. Um, yeah, and that's concluded for the tutorial. It's very simple. Um, I'm gonna make more of these, and I'm finally showing my face, so you know I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna do more speed arts as well because they're super easy to do but yeah drop with some other tutorials you want to do this was just a simple one and yeah like this video and subscribe peace out y'all